All right, so Alexa Grasso has pulled out of her fight in at UFC Lincoln on August 4th against Angela Hill. And Angela Hill basically got, in my opinion, a better opponent. You know, Alexa Grasso was number six. Who stepped in? Court, I mean, Alexa Grasso was number 11. Who stepped in? Courtney Casey, number 10. If Angela Hill can beat Courtney Casey, I think she's going to be top 10. Angela Hill, you know, she's one of those fighters. She's just not. Angela Hill could be so much better than she actually is. But there's a headspace that she gets into with some of these fights that just loses her. That makes her lose, basically. I'm not sure what it is, but there's something about her. She just has so much more skill and technique than what she showcases in in her fights. Or maybe it's fight IQ. Something is off with her. And also she's running her mouth too much af- outside of the octagon. She needs to go ahead and go to the woodshed, lock the doors, turn on the heat and get some work done. That's what she needs to do. She needs to be working, training, stop running her mouth. Anyways, Angela Hill is now fighting Courtney Casey. This is a great fight for her. If, she, if Angela Hill can beat Courtney Casey, she's in the top 10. If Courtney Casey can't beat Angela Hill, she's, I think she's cut. I actually think she's cut anyway. So this is a great fight. I'm looking forward to it. I, you know, I was kind of excited about the Alexa Grosso fight with Angela Hill, but I did not see Angela Hill putting up. I mean, I, I didn't see Alexa Grosso putting up any type of competition for Angela Hill, in my opinion. You know, I just didn't see that happening. Grosso had been pushed way too fast up the division, up the rankings, way too fast. Anyways, you know, I'm not going to do my fight breakdown for this one, but I will do a fight pick. I believe that they're going to be on the main card anyway, so I'll do a fight pick for this one. But I'm excited for this fight. There's a lot of implications behind it. Let's just put it that way. And it's a great fight for the strawweight division in order to get competition in the like make the top 10 even more competitive. I believe that Angela Hill would be more competitive, more competitive than a Courtney Casey in the top 10. Anyways, I absolutely love this women's straw weight division is so stacked and these girls are never afraid to fight. You can't go down this list and look and find anybody who's ever ducked a fight, who's ever tried to cherry pick a fight, who's ever been afraid. None of that. They're always churning this division out, man. Always. Anyways, shout out to the whole women's strawweight division for putting up so many great fights. I'm looking forward to seeing Courtney Casey versus Angela Hill over at UFC Lincoln in a couple weeks. Anyways, guys, let me know. Leave your thoughts in the comment section.